many different breeds of dogs, determining which one to buy can be overwhelming. And it's not like when you go shopping for shoes and you see 17 pairs of shoes that are really cute, you can just take them all home. Because if you took home 17 dogs, you'd be a crazy dog lady. And you don't have to, like, feed your shoes. Right. When choosing a dog, there are so many important things to consider. The most important of which is which one makes you look the most cute. And which one... Yeah, that's true. We're going to show you which dog breeds best for you. Are you ready to enter a world of cute? This is a Greyhound. Even though they can run very fast, they love to sleep, like 18 hours a day. One great thing about this breed is that, surprisingly, they actually don't need a lot of exercise. I wish I could be that skinny without exercising. Oh, me too. This dog will make you look fat. That's why most people shouldn't get a Greyhound, unless you're like a size triple zero. The same is true for Whippets. Mm -hmm. Look at that face. But he's not a pair of jeggings, so you can't just keep him in the back of the closet till you lose the weight. Pit bulls are so on trend. But this can be a difficult breed. It's difficult to match with your outfit. Yeah, pit bulls are large and kind of funky looking and come in all these combos of colors. It's definitely a statement breed. It's like the statement necklace of dogs. So if you're out with your pit, you can't wear any flashy pieces. Because then you'd look over the top ridiculous. This is one of the most intelligent, loving, and protective breeds, the German Shepherd. They're really big. And the thing with big dogs is that you can't carry them around in purses. And that's like half the reason to get a dog. So you can get a cute bag to carry it in. Mm -hmm. Pugs are great. But the way they watch you in the bedroom is super creepy. A lot of my friends are getting poodles. Not surprising, because this breed is adorable. Especially those curly locks. Poodles rarely have bad hair days. But you don't want a dog that has better hair than you. I love Yorkies. This tiny, silky baby is almost perfect. If you get a Yorkie, you want to make sure you wear a lot of neutrals and earth tones. Otherwise, you'll clash with him. I'd go for a breed that has more wardrobe flexibility. Aww, oh my god, this <laughs> is the cutest. Malteses are wonderful. They've got hypoallergenic fur so they don't shed. And white will match everything so they're easy to accessorize. And you never have to worry about clashing with your dog. This is Lou. I named him that because he's beautiful and perfect, like a pair of Louboutins. Aww, yes, yes, you are. are. Aren't you so good? Ciao for now, bitches!